Good morning, I'm Marla Ellerman, and I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing and Technology Online. We're here at the Transact 15 show in San Francisco, and I'm here with Michelle Tinsley with Intel, and she's the Director of Mobility and Secured Payment Solutions. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Marla, yeah. So the big question, I think, for everybody on the exhibit floor is, um, why is Intel focusing on payments? Sure. So we're big advocates in encouraging innovation and solving real world problems and challenges. And obviously retail is going through a lot of innovation right now, uh, moving from traditional POS to mobile form factors, but even looking at all sorts of new factors being invented as it moves to an internet of things. Um, new kiosks taking payment. And so Intel looks at this and says, that's where the compute workload is moving. We would love to have that work and happen on Intel. And so that's where we're going. We're trying to enable that innovation to happen on Intel. Wow, and so what has happened thus far with banks and retailers, which are probably your two key customers? Sure, sure. So obviously we're already market leaders in selling into the traditional point of sale. What we've been focusing on in the last year is really ramping up our mobile presence. Mm -hmm. So having all different sorts of um, sizes of screens, different operating systems depending on the use case, whether it be Windows or Android driven um, mobile tablets, but an aging, enabling all sorts of new consumer experiences as these workers get out and engaging with the consumers instead of hiding behind the traditional point of sale. Um, in addition, what you'll see in the booth is some of the things from our bigger retail division, which is things around data analytics, things around um, new business models being created by taking dumb devices like a beer keg and automating that with drawdown and, and depletion numbers based on sensors that are, are put on that keg. Super and so, cool. yeah, we're seeing all kinds of fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's great. So what makes Intel different than some of the other players out there? I think because we choose to partner and we, we are not exclusive, we like to, again, enable that open ecosystem, um, we, we can find a way that we can work with almost any company. Um, and so we look at that and say, how do we work with you, collaborate, and um, enable that joint success in the future? And how do you um, enable other clients in the industry? How, how do you work with these guys, these customers? How do you... Do you sell directly? Do you go through partners? Sure. How do you interact with them? So our historical go-to-market channel is that Intel's the ingredient provider, and we sell to OEM or system makers. Um, in traditional point of sale, obviously the leaders like Dell, HP, NCR, Wincor. Um, in the mobile space, we also see you know Panasonic, uh, Fujitsu. You know mm -hmm. some of these other companies being very quick and nimble on moving their um, platforms to mobile. Um, in, in the other spaces like the automation of the data analytics, we're working with, say, people that have historically been in the RFID market. So okay. again, we're broadening our, our ecosystem of who we do work with, uh -huh. um, but we typically sell to the system providers who then turn around and sell on to the retailers. We're Intel's okay. not selling direct right. to, say, a Macy's or Nordstrom's. Right, Coast. got it. So in the past six months, um, what would you say Intel's biggest ac accomplishment was? It has been? Sure. I think really it's looking at our launch of our first software software-based product for security mm -hmm. um, to improve the security around that point of sale experience. Uh, what Intel's advocating is obviously not just meeting PCI standards, okay. but going beyond that and really protecting the entire digital identity of the customer because customers in these new scenarios are giving out a lot of personal information to fill out loyalty program information. Right, right. And unfortunately, when they know your address and your phone number and your email and your date of birth, it's very easy if they get their hands on that information to actually now steal your identity. Right. And so we know that that's not today where PCI is kind of mandating uh, rules and re legislations, but we're trying to offer up solutions in that space so retailers can do better. Oh, great, great. So this is your first transact that you've exhibited at. How's mm -hmm. the experience been? Phenomenal so far. We're seeing a lot of booth traffic. I know last night we had almost 200 people through the booth. Which um, is awesome. Which is great, <laughs> yes. We were pleasantly surprised because there are so many competing different things that people could be going and doing. Um, and then the big takeaway they're having is, wow, there's just some really different things in this booth. It's kind of fun. And again, we're not directly selling anything or trying to take an order or follow up. Right. Um, in that regard, we're trying to see how do these companies work with us in the future. So it's kind of a refreshing conversation. Oh, yeah. that's really great. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our uh, watchers out there today? I'd say, yeah, we're, we're into, again, learning what's happening in this marketplace. If you have something that you think is innovative, 
innovative or creative or um, leading in this space, we'd love to dialogue with you and see where is there an Intel you know, partnership or collaboration opportunity. Oh, that's great. That's great. Michelle, thank you so much for thank your you, time Mala. today. Okay. And it's always a pleasure seeing okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.